Happy Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern, everybody, and welcome to the President's Play Pokemon Yellow Episode 11. It's the Pokemon Tower episode today as we will battle some crazy people and release a spirit into the afterlife. Aside from the maniac on the couch over here, we're going to talk to all of the NPCs we see in Lavender Town because in the red, blue, and yellow games, the storyline here was the darkest in any Pokemon game ever made. They tell the story of how truly evil Team Rocket was. For those of you who don't know, Team Rocket invaded the Pokemon Tower to steal Cubone skulls so they could sell them for a large profit. One of the Cubone was protected by its mother, however, and it was killed by Team Rocket as its child escaped. The spirit of the Marowak remains in the tower to prevent unwanted guests from reaching the top floor. Even I would never go to those lengths to make a profit. It's going to make kicking their ass in Saffron City even sweeter. But for now, we need to do the most important thing we've done this series and help release that spirit into the afterlife so it can rest peacefully. It's insane how Game Freak designed this game to go from a casino to this topic. But regardless, we got a job to do, boys. First up, though, is Donald's shirtless horseback riding partner. For the last fucking time, Barack, I told you that was his twin brother, Vladimir. I thought you said his twin brother's name was Vladimir. It is. I meant to say that. I don't care about those Russians. Why should I bother remembering their names? What's with all these questions? This isn't the time for questions. I'm trying to win this battle. Damn it. Leave me alone. Witch hunt, I tell you. Someone sounds a little defensive there, Donald. Don't worry. You can ride horses with Vlad after the episode again. Oh, fuck you, Barack. Things Donald said to Putin for 1,000 Alex. There's gonna be two more fucking graves in this tower by the time this episode is over. Oh, quit crying, Donnie. Anyway, what's the strategy against our fake rival? I'm going to truly flex on his bitch ass this fight. He's got five Pokemon. We got five Pokemon, so I'm gonna knock out each one of his Pokemon with a different one of ours. I'm gonna go full Paul on him and beat him worse than Ash got beat at Lake Acuity. Trump, come on, man. My bad, Barack. I didn't realize you were still upset. I saw you dancing with that ace trainer, and then I saw you take her back to your hotel room, so I thought you were over it. I mean, I did, but I don't know. It just didn't feel right, you know? I remember my first time with a woman back in 1827, so I totally get why it didn't feel right, Barack. We didn't have any of Trump's fancy moves back then, so it was really strange and awkward. Nothing like today. Joe, I literally taught you those moves like three weeks ago. Are you saying it only hasn't been awkward for that long? Basically, yeah. Wow, I never realized how low standards Jill had in that department. Anyway, Obama, it's never going to be easy moving on, but you need to be happy you still got some game. Those ace trainers don't go for just anyone. You really think so? You don't think she just felt bad for me? No way, buddy. I drank so much I don't remember half of the night, but from what I remember, you did really well. Joe, you had two apple juices. What are you talking about? You didn't get drunk. I had two? Oh man, I really let myself go. I mean, if that's my competition, I guess I have to be top of the class. Maybe I'm ready to move on. Maybe I can set my sights on my dream girl in Kanto. That's the spirit, Barack. Who is it? Oh, I can't say it. You guys are going to make fun of me. Unlike Putin's Pokemon, you're safe, Obama. Just tell us who it is. Well, all right, but you guys have to promise not to tell. She was actually at the club last night, but I was just too afraid to talk to her. It's that green-haired beauty, Sabrina. Ha, Biden, you owe me five bucks. Pay up, bitch. God damn it. Fine, here you go. I should have known it was her. Thanks a lot, Barack. Wait, you guys bet on my dream girl. But how? We saw you staring blindly at the bar at either Sabrina or Misty. I knew it would be Sabrina because you ain't the dom in a relationship. Easiest five bucks I ever made. I really have to stop making these side bets when I'm absolutely plastered on apple juice. I bet against Sabrina because we all know you loved Michael and Misty is such a tomboy. But yeah, I guess the Dommy Mommy beats that. Now I won't be able to afford that ice cream later. I need to really make some changes. Okay then. Well, good to know you guys are betting on my heart. But yeah, there's no way she would ever go for me. Oh, please, Barack, you just need to believe in yourself. Look at it like this. We face Sabrina in like four episodes or something. You need to get your confidence up and when the time comes, take your shot. Sounds good, Donald. It's time for me to build my confidence Who dare up and make- Who enter the tower? Begone, you trespassers. Holy Jesus shit, it's Christ. an actual ghost. Fuck? Oh, hey, Lizzie. Long time no see. How you been? My oh my. If it isn't the United- Hey, wait a minute. What the fuck are you doing? Donald, why did you attack the queen? What the fuck is wrong with you? 
Joe, I saw a fucking ghost and I attacked. You can't blame me for that. God fucking damn it, Donald. That hurt. I'll haunt you for that, you bitch. Well, I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Maybe next time you don't sneak up on people like that. What are you even doing here anyway? Well, after I passed away, I became a ghastly. I think I deserved at least a haunter. I think I got cheated here. Would you mind being our guide through this tower, Your Majesty? We're trying to calm the spirit of the Marowak and get Mr. Fuji home safely. As long as you keep your orange menace at bay, I would be delighted to help. Anything for you, my sweet Joey. Uh, why did you call him your sweet Joey, if you don't mind me asking, Elizabeth? Well, now that I'm a ghost, I suppose I don't have anything to hide. Joey and I spent quite a lot of private time in Buckingham Palace, if you know what I mean. I knew there was a reason you always begged me to go to England with me whenever I had to go for diplomatic meetings, Joe. I just had no idea what it was until now. Sleepy Joe rizzed up the queen. I definitely did not have that on my 2023 bingo card. Oh well, I still just need secret Matt Getz and Lauren Boebert relationship to get my bingo. I'm confident. That's seriously all you need? Damn, I'm gonna lose. I got a lot of help with Kevin James relevance, but I still need Russia and Ukraine truce, as well as an official release target for Grand Theft Auto 6. Yeah, you're cooked there, Joe. Neither of those things are happening. Since I got the Twins winning a playoff game last week, all I need is Biden to kick the bucket so I'm so close to victory. Might as well shred my board right now then if that's all you need. But Elizabeth, can you tell me why all of these old ladies have lost their mind even more than Biden? The popular theory is that they are possessed by the ghosts they use to battle. And I guess that makes sense because they go back to normal after they are defeated. Game Freak really didn't pull any punches with the darkness in this town. Since we're here, Biden, you should pick which of these trainers you want to haunt when you become a ghastly next week. Is nobody going to say that was out of line or something? I mean, he's probably not wrong, Joey. I don't think you're going to make it to 140. Bingo card, Joe. Sorry, man, but priorities. I mean, I guess the card does come first. Those $5 on the line are huge. Speaking of you hanging in there, Joe, how you doing? I know you were more terrified than our editor when he has to go to the doctor and any type of needle is involved about coming to this tower. Yeah, are we done yet? I think we did what we needed to do. Mission completed, right, everyone? All right, cool. Let's go catch my starmy. Biden, we're on the fourth floor. Plenty more trainers to go, buddy. You can do it. Just hang in there. Are you afraid of me, Joey? I'm one of those spooky ghosts after all. I'm going to get you. Ooh! Oh my God, the queen is going after us now. Drone, Arnold, somebody do something. I was just kidding, Joseph. I would never hurt you, and I'll make sure all of these other spirits don't hurt you either. I think it's incredibly noble to be doing what you all are doing. It's not like you're only doing this to get an item that wakes up a large object blocking your path. Of course we're not doing this for something like that. The United States is once again coming to the aid of anybody in need without expecting anything in return. Seems a little suspicious coming from you, Donald. But I'll take your word for it. Be on your guard, though, because the spirits become more fearsome as we continue. What should we expect, Your Majesty? Well, I don't know for sure because I have no desire to go up there. But I have heard rumors that the spirits of some bad people are up there. I'll do my best to protect you, but be on your guard. Thanks, Queen. But have you seen our team and who is leading them this battle? I won't let a single one of our Pokémon fall against these pathetic spirits. I'll send them all to the afterlife myself. That's some big talk, Donald. Recently, your play has been pretty mid to say the least. Seems like a Pokemon always faints when it's your turn. Mid, coming from you, give it a rest, Obama. I'm the very best like no one ever was. Last time I checked, I've won three badges and you've won how many exactly? Oh, that's right, zero. You act like I chose to go second. Congrats on all gym battles happening on your turn. And you nearly fumbled the bag against Erica. Your insistence on drone getting XP left that victory up to pure chance. And if you want to go back further, congrats on Misty not using Bubble Beam. You're the liability of this team, Obama, not me. Guys, please don't fight. It's scary enough in here. Stay out of this, Joe. Just hang out with the queen for a minute. And holy shit, why do our Pokemon always have an IQ of negative five when I play? Stop hitting yourselves for fuck's sake. Come now, Donald. It's only a level 22 ghastly. Let's see some of that leadership you always speak about. Arnold and I are going to need to have a talk after this episode. I know we haven't been using him much because he was so overleveled, but this performance was pathetic. He's lacking that killer instinct he once had. I blame you goons for not using him enough. Stop making excuses, Donald. If you need some tips, I can teach you after this episode. 
The old man goes on a small hot streak and now he thinks he's red. I'm sorry, Biden, did you want to play in the Pokemon Tower? Here, take the controller. No, you can keep playing, it's just that I was. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now sit down and let me work. Jesus Christ, I've had it from both of you. Take a breath, Donald. He's only trying to help. You need to control that anger, young man. Okay, I'm sorry, Donald. You're right. I shouldn't be backseat gaming you right now. You've been really good this session. I guess just part of me wants to get out of this creepy tower as well, and seeing that one battle go on for so long just made me a little jumpy. I can understand that Obama and I accept your apology. Arnold hitting himself twice when he was confused also just got me on edge. I have so much faith in our team, and to see them do something wrong just makes me furious. Oh, look at you three. It seems like you guys have really become good friends after I passed away. I couldn't even imagine all of you being in the same room and getting along before this. It's almost as if the only way it could happen was if there was this software where our voices could be generated through text to appear we are all friendly with each other. Imagine something like that existing, ha ha ha. Oh man, that's a good one. Anyway, it really is nice when rock slide hits. If there's anything that will influence this new generation on percentages, it's Pokemon games. If it isn't 100%, there's that instant PTSD to these games to influence decision making. I know we really didn't have another Pokemon to put it on, but yeah, I hate any move that isn't guaranteed. When it hits, it's great, but when it misses, it seems like the floodgates always open for the opponent. I actually played on the OU ladder in Pokemon Showdown back in Generation 4. And I can't tell you how many monitors I threw off my desk when a stone edge missed. It says 80%, but you're lucky if it hits two out of five times. It's bullshit. I know the feel of that. I also ran a sandstorm team and never had faith using that move. Holy shit, we actually got a hit off when confused. It's a Christmas fucking miracle. But Donald, it's October, it's not Christmas. Yes, Joe, I realize it's not Christmas. I'm just saying, you know what? Never mind, I can't even. I'm so close to the end of this tower. I just need to keep focusing. Wait a minute, Elizabeth. What was your username on Showdown? I know there was always someone in the top five with the username XXTheQueen420XX. Was that you? Top five? Bitch, I was always top three at the worst. Put some respect on my name, and yeah, that was me. I ran that ladder like I ran England. I remember that username as well. You always wrecked my spikes, team. Jill didn't let me buy a new PC for a month after I smashed my tower, screaming, fuck you, XX, the Queen 420 XX. Oh my God, you were actually Big Bad Biden 69. Little bro, you had no idea how to run that strategy. It's Gen 4. Just use a sandstorm team like any other human with a functioning brain. Is this real life? Once again, I get a hit off when confused. Holy shit, I might play the lottery tonight. I could use that 1.5 billion to pay for my lawyer's fees. Not the best area for him to level up, seeing his strongest moves don't affect ghost Pokemon. But good job getting him to 30 despite that. Nice job, Donald. What can I say? I'm just that amazing. Now it's George's turn to shine, and after this trainer, only one floor to go. Oh, is Bush here as well? I always like that goofball. And I can't tell you how many times I died laughing at the video of the shoes being thrown at him. It was just simply hilarious. No, he's not here with us, Lizzie, but we named our Pikachu after him since he wouldn't be able to join us during this run because of his new job. I haven't heard from him in a while, so I hope he's all right. He's doing good, Biden. I actually just called him the other week to make fun of the Cowboys losing to the Cardinals. Maybe we'll be able to see him again soon. I hope so. I also hope it's on my turn so I can make up for my play last time we saw him. I still lose sleep at night letting Pikachu faint in his presence. I'm gonna believe in George here. I know he fainted once when I used him because he hit himself when confused, but he'll do the job this time. Maybe you should switch him out, Donald. This doesn't look good. No way, I believe in him. He learned from last time. He won't let confusion. Are you fucking kidding me? No, 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 he's gonna faint and, oh wait, just kidding, he survived. We're finishing this off. Let's go, buddy. Shake off that confusion and take down that haunter. George has got that fucking dog in him, boys. Holy shit, you nearly gave me a heart attack there, Donald. That play was beyond reckless and stupid. We are so fucking lucky that Haunter didn't use Nightshade right there. Donald, you have to use your head, man. That would have been the second time you let George faint like that. Good thing Haunter's physical stat is absolute dog water. I literally went down the list of your misplays earlier, so don't even bring up the whole lucky that move wasn't used garbage. As Al Davis said, just win, baby, win. The way they bicker about the way they play makes it look like you're the best player of this group, Joey. 
Is that actually true? Through 10 sessions, Biden probably has been our best player. As much as I hate to admit it hasn't been me, it's been an absolute masterclass when Joe plays. While I have to concede Biden has been the best so far, I'm close behind and I'll be on top when the dust settles. The toughest battles are coming up and I got that clutch gene these guys don't have. I never would have thought Big Bad Biden 69 would ever have become good at Pokemon. Color me impressed. Maybe when we're both in this realm, I'll give you a rematch, Joey. Since Sandstorm teams aren't the meta nowadays, I'm sure I could beat you no problem, Lizzie. Bring it on. If we're taking bets on this, I want a million on the queen. I heard stories about her battling on Showdown, and she's ruthless. I don't know about that one, Trump. Joe has been really improving, and I think he could take her in a best of three. Well, I guess we'll have to put that to the test one day, my friends. We are almost to the end of our journey, however. You guys have done a fantastic job helping all of the channelers up to this point. What can I say? I truly am an amazing person. Only two channelers left, and then we are able to get to the top floor. This is only a taste of things to come, boys. Get used to seeing only excellence when I take the stage going forward. Speaking of future episodes, I have a question for you, Barack. How do you plan to handle episode 12? There are two paths to Fuchsia City. Are you going to go down both of them? One of them, what are you thinking? That's a great question, Joe. I definitely plan on battling all the trainers on both routes to level the team up as much as possible. But the way we do it will come down to you, the audience. For the first time, we're letting you decide how we play. Right now, on the community tab of our channel, we have a poll up asking if you want us to have episode 12 as an episode of battling all the trainers or if you want another montage and we go straight to the safari zone. We will go with whatever poll option is leading at noon this Sunday. Vote now and let your voice be heard. The vote is super close right now and it could go either way. Every vote matters. So please make sure you vote. If we get a ton of votes and this ends up being liked, we may do this again. Also one more thing, next episode, no matter what, we will be catching my Starmy. This is your last chance to get your vote in for its name as well. We started asking for name guesses on episode six. So if you want a chance to name Starmy, you can comment Starmy dash your name. Guess on episode six through 11. You can have up to six chances on the wheel. We want to have over 100 entries on this wheel and it will be your last chance to get a chance at naming a Pokemon. So make your voice be heard on all of our audience input opportunities. Well said, Joe. And with that, we are on to the Marowak. And this is something we will take with a very sensitive approach. For those of you that are unfamiliar with this battle, when you have the scope, you take on a level 30 Marowak, and when you defeat or catch it, its spirit goes on to the afterlife. But there also is a speed running strategy that if you use a poke doll, you can skip getting the scope and you can just end the battle. We will throw Joe's favorite stuffed animal out and end the battle in a peaceful manner. This is one fight we don't want the experience from. Oh, come on. Did you really have to use Mr. Wiggles? We couldn't have used anything else. For fuck's sake, man, now I need a new stuffed animal to sleep with. I thank you, Donald Trump, for not allowing any more harm to this spirit. Now that the deed has been done, I will take my leave and assist anyone else who is in need of help. Goodbye, gentlemen, and good luck on the rest of your journey. Rest easy, Elizabeth. It was great to see you again. Now, Donald, we have one more fight left in this video. Jesse and James need to pay for what they've done here. Let's destroy them worse than ever before. Hell yeah, Obama. What Team Rocket did in this tower can never be justified, and I intend on sending them off crying for mercy. These guys surely are gluttons for punishment. We beat them last episode, and here they are asking to be taken down again. Well, since they asked so kindly, we really should oblige. Fly really does pack a punch with Blackhawk. That stab really makes him viable finally. And with his evolution around the corner, he should be a real pain in the rear end for our opponents. I know we have a lot of people asking for Aerodactyl. And while he might have better base stats in attack and speed, we already have a viable option. And we aren't power leveling a Pokemon from five that we get in Cinnabar Island to about level 40. Believe in Blackhawk. That's the only thing I need to hear. He's our boy, and we've had him since episode two. There's something about the sentimental value when it comes to me, and I could never even dream of replacing him. Just look at him taking down Jesse and James's newly evolved Pokemon like it's nothing. So Trump, how does it feel to do something wholesome for once in your life? You did a really good thing today for everyone in Lavender Town. Joe, I'm the most charitable person you could ever meet. 
All I do is good and wholesome things for the general public. But honestly, it does feel good. I know this is just a video game, but the topics are still really dark. When you're a kid, you might not fully understand everything, but as an adult, you really can get into the story. It was really hard to make jokes in this episode because we wanted to remain respectful, like I said, even though it is a video game. Well said, Trump. And once we take down their wheezing, we can bring Mr. Fuji back home. Since we have everyone at level 30 and the entire team got to level up this episode, I want to get R. Kelly as many levels as possible. He's going to be our ace against Koga in the fighting dojo. He needs to be the priority for now. That's definitely the route we need to follow. The only gym we really don't have an answer for right now is Sabrina. We're just going to have to go in there with an all-out offensive and hope our physical attacks can overwhelm those glass cannons. Star me very well may be our ace in the final three gyms just because of type alone. And with that, everyone, that will be the final fight of this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by for episode 11. Don't forget to vote in the poll for what you want us to do in episode 12. You all are the reason we're here and got to 1,000 subs. So we want to make sure that you all have input in this series as well. And don't forget to put your vote in for Starmie's name from every episode from 6 through 11. Thanks again for stopping by, everyone. We can't wait to see you for the next one. And before we sign off, everyone, we just have an important message for all of you. On this past Monday, our editor CJ got back surgery. Everything is going to be fine, and it wasn't major. But because of this, he is going to take an extra week to recover, and there will not be an episode next Thursday. He will try to get a smaller episode out in the meantime, but the next Pokemon Yellow episode will be out on October 26th. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you next time.